All right, last rule for the logarithmic function properties, okay? It's called the quotient rule. So you understood the stuff from last time where it was x times m, and this time it's now it's x divided by m. So the last one was product rule, this one is quotient rule. Quotient means divide, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. What we're going to do now is we're going to show a way of simplifying this. Based, uh, we're going to show you the proof for it, and then you have the rule at the end. As always, the rule is the most important thing. Don't worry about the proof so much, um, but this is just how you get the rule, okay? First thing we're going to do is raise both of these. We're, we're going to take A and raise them to both of these, whatever is on that side, with A as the base. So we're going to do A to the Y equals A to the log AX over M. Okay, if you remember our basic law, basic logarithm uh, properties, you know that this A, this base A right here, and this log base A is going to cancel. Then you're going to be left with x over m, so I'm going to have x over m drop down like that. Okay, from here, I want both this and this to have the bases of a. Right now, this has the base of a, but these don't. So I'm just going to make up values for x and m so that they have a base of a. So I'm going to do a to the g like I did for the, the product rule. And for m, I'm going to do a to the h power. Okay, I'm going to substitute these values in now, so we're going to have a to the y equals a to the g over a to the h. Now, if you remember your basic, basic exponential uh, rules that you can do when you're dividing uh, things with a common base, these both have base a, you just subtract the exponent. Okay? a to the g minus h, just like that. From here, we're going to take the log base a of both sides, which gets rid of this a and which gets rid of this a, so you end up with y is equal to g minus h, okay? Again, basic property of exponential functions. I just took, if I take the log base a of both sides of this, the a's cancel, and you're left with y equals g minus h. But we need to know what g and h are because g and h don't, don't help us solve the problem because this problem is in terms of x and m when you're solving for y. So we need to resolve these two things right here for x and m, okay? So if you want to solve for g, you just take the log base a of both sides, and you end up with g is equal to the log base a of x, okay? And this one, we want to solve for h, so you take the log base a of both sides, this will cancel out for the h, and the log base a of this would be log base a of m, okay? So I'm going to set this equal here, g is equal to log base a of x, minus h, h is log base a of m, like so. Okay, now to kind of put this into perspective, I'm going to, it says y is equal to this big mess right here, y is also equal to this mess right here, so I'm going to take this mess and put it down here, substitute it in, log base a of x over m, I messed up my x there, Okay, x over m like this, and this is basically our quotient rule. Log base a of x minus log base a of m equals log base a of x over m. Okay, this will help simplify logarithmic problems greatly whenever you're dividing, whenever you see this x over m in the, in the problem. Hopefully this helps understand the quotient rule. Remember, all you have to do is understand this. This proof is just how I got to this. Some of you guys are interested in proof, some of you are not. It's not a big deal. The only thing I'm grading you on is this. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.